A flying pig winner dedicates her run to a young Mason woman fighting cancer. This morning, Liz Lothrop lost her fight to brain cancer. Mike Dardis has a closer look at her legacy and the last impact for one local athlete. I found out this morning, you know, through a message um, through their family and it just, it hits you, it takes your breath away. The emotion is nearly too much for Amy Robillard to speak about. The champion runner just now beginning to reflect on the death of Liz Lothrop, the young woman who inspired Amy and so many others. This winter, we first shared Liz's story, the Mason High School grad who bravely battled cancer. In 2008, Liz was diagnosed with leukemia and in remission by 2011. Last summer, doctors found a brain tumor, starting another round of surgeries, radiation and chemo. In January, Liz made it clear the fight would not impact her spirit. Being in the situation, I mean, I can only grow as a person. I can't get down with what I have. Amy won Sunday's Flying Pig Half Marathon, dedicating the victory to Liz. Their families have been close since first meeting at Children's Hospital. Robillard's son underwent a bone marrow transplant as a baby. And so we learned for them, like, how to handle when your kid truly is going to have those down moments and how to really appreciate the good, appreciate the little milestones. That was Mike Dardis reporting for us tonight. Liz's father is a longtime math teacher at Sycamore High School just today. Sycamore also sharing their condolences with the family, saying in part, the hearts of Aviator Nation are with the Lothrop family during this difficult time. Liz's unwavering spirit through her courageous fight was an inspiration to so many. She will truly be missed.